make 2021 a year you enjoy a year you still grow still take action every single day still show up for yourself and for your dreams but then there is a catch for 2021 let's do it from a place of absolute joy flow and pleasure to my channel to help you create the life that you want and to become the best best version of yourself well new year is around the corner and this is a goal setting season however to set goals is easy but execution is an absolute difficult task basically it's, it is a task if you keep setting goal and do not achieve it you are kind of hampering your own trust you're breaking your own trust and to a point that you your self-esteem will go down you'll start doubting your capabilities so today I am so happy to create a video on how to set goals and actually achieve them. Let's get started. So firstly, set goal on the things that you have control on. For example, if you are a content creator and you have a YouTube channel or you have an Instagram handle and you are supposed to put out the content, instead of saying I want to hit this number of subscribers or this number of followers by the end of every single month or year, you could possibly set goals like I want to push four videos every month or I want to push one post every alternative day every single month. This helps you quantify your goal. Your results are directly proportional to the kind of effort that you make. When you feel you're entirely in control of your goal, it's easy to hold yourself accountable and you'll probably show up more responsibly every single time. It's because every single month when you don't hit your goal, the only person you can possibly blame is you and you don't want that to happen. You know, it's very convenient to blame others, but when it comes to blaming yourself, nah, not a good idea. Pick a theme for 2021. Theme basically means what is that you want to focus more on for the upcoming year. This basically means what is it that you really want to feel, have or bring in this year. You may want to relax more, you may want to make more money, you may want to see a lot of growth in your career or probably self-care is your theme. Just pick whatever is relevant to you. Ask yourself, is this the year of wealth? Is this the year of self-care? Is this the year of growth? Is this the year of freedom? Honestly, the word really doesn't matter because each word means different to different people. So it is the feeling that the very word invokes is what matters to you the most. And honestly, it's all about what you want the year to look like for you. Now that you've picked up a theme for yourself, also look at how you're going to do it. You could possibly associate a habit that's going to bring that theme into life or you can also make a list of activities that you can do for the entire year so that you can bring that theme into life. Well, now it's a goal setting time. Unlike last year, this year I'm going to pick only two to three major goals, the big goal, the important goal that I'm going to achieve for the entire year. These are going to be two to three absolutely important goals for me that is going to make me feel absolutely proud of myself by the time I achieve it by the end of the year. These could be the ones that, that is going to absolutely change your life or maybe that is going to make a ton of a difference or that's something that you've been always wanting to do and that you have the fire in you to just get it done and prove yourself that you are capable of doing it. Be it whatever, you know, whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you feel proud, pick that two to three goals and write them down. Along with the bigger goals, you can also make a list of 10 to 15 smaller goals that is important to you. When I say smaller goals, you can add list of things like the things, the online courses that you want to make, the places you want to travel, the people you want to meet, the kind of association you want to have, or probably uh, you want to learn a certain skill, you want to learn cooking, you want to go bungee jumping, you want to do scuba diving. You can also pick few things from your bucket list and add them to it. Well, I need to explain why the differentiation of two to three bigger goals and 10 to 15 smaller goals. So when we pick just two to three bigger goals, that's important. It gives you the luxury of focusing all your attention towards just the two, three, two to three goals. And there is no diversification or your energy is not directed to a couple of other places and you are clueless, you're in a mess by the mid year. And when you pick two to three major goals and all the smaller goals on the other side, there is no major pressure for you in your mind to fulfill those goals. 
while you will still make an effort to fulfill all your smaller goals, you are a lot more relaxed and calmer and all your energy is directed towards your bigger goals which puts you in a position to achieve them a lot more easier. Set a 90 day goal. When you have set 2-3 to three bigger goals and a chunk of smaller goals, it's, it gives a lot more structure and possibly a lot more achievable when you divide those goals into 90 day goals. Well, the problem with setting a one year goal is that it gives a lot of scope for procrastination. For example, you set a goal for the month of January and you end up not fulfilling it. Then you, back in your mind, you have this thing that that's okay, that's totally cool because I have another 11 months to go. Good reason to procrastinate, right? On the other hand, setting a 90 day goal brings in the urgency because three months is not too long to procrastinate and it's not too short to ignore. So works well for somebody who is master the art of procrastination or if you are a lazy worm like me then it, this works wonders. When you set your yearly goal into 90 day goals it is, it is a lot more easier for you to divide those 90 day goals into monthly goals than weekly and then daily. This will help you make each day count, make each day a little chunk of progress which will take you a long way by the end of the year. Reward your action. Make a list of things that you want to reward yourself with whenever you achieve a set target. This will act as an external motivation for you to keep going and keep working. However, here's the catch. For example, if the reward is to watch one episode of Netflix after giving two hours of dedicated work or whatever the project or the deadline that you have every single day, there are high chances that you watch Netflix first thing in the morning and you just not bother to look at your goals. Doing so will not serve any purpose which is exactly the reason why you need to have an accountability partner. An accountability partner is someone you share all your goals with and that person holds you responsible if you do not end up achieving them. Well, there are two ways of doing it. One, you have a person, probably your friend or your spouse or anybody for that matter who holds you responsible, who will keep asking you, will keep checking on you about your progress. To add to it, to spice it up, to make it very stronger, you can actually add monetary terms to it. For example, if I am not able to do this by the end of uh, this month, I will probably give you this much money or this much rupees to you. Uh, so obviously nobody likes losing money, so you better do it. So this works. Secondly, if this doesn't work for you, you don't take your accountability partner serious enough or if that person is not really passionate about following up with you then what you can do is you can put yourself out there on a social media platform or you can share your goals with the facebook community that you have you can put it on your instagram handle as a matter of post so you can so that you can follow us or anybody who really likes your work they will keep checking on you this is a good place to start guys i just have to say one thing here please don't hesitate to put yourself out there tell your goals out loud it doesn't sound like bragging and even if it does, even if people perceive it that way, don't give a damn. Track your progress. When you are on a journey of achieving a certain goal that's going to make you feel so proud, it's equally important for you to have the clarity on where you started, where is that you are heading and where exactly are you right now, where do you stand. And a great way to track your progress is to do reviews, be it quarterly, monthly or weekly reviews. Use planners or trackers that you have online to do your review activity. Please do not miss it. It gives you the clarity on where you lag, what are the mistakes that you're doing, where are the corrections it requires and what is the kind of progress you can expect for the upcoming month. It gives you the kind of clarity I can't emphasize on. Sometimes it so happens when you sit down to do your monthly review, you end up not remembering the kind of accomplishments you did, big or small. And it also puts you in a position where you wonder, did I do anything at all in the month, you know? But the mat fact of the matter is, you because just because you don't remember, it just slipped off your mind, you're not able to pick it up and write it down. For which I have a practice of victory log, which I swear by every single day. So what happens in a victory log is I pick three wins of my day. I sometimes write it end of the day or probably the next day in the morning when I'm journaling. I just add the three things that I've accomplished the previous day. So when you're doing your review, you can always go back to all the things that you've accomplished and it kind of gives you a sense of fulfillment. Big or small, really doesn't matter. Celebrate your milestones because it's totally worth it. Now that we've spoken about how to set the goals, let's dive deep into how to achieve them as well. Instead of me giving you a bunch of strategies 
on how to achieve your goals how about you discovering it for yourself well let's face it what pushes me to achieve my goals might not necessarily be the same reasons what pushes you to achieve your goal so there is no point me sharing my strategies that work for me so today now at the moment i want you to sit down with me and customize strategies as to how to achieve your goal for 2021 and make the best year for you we all had our share of ups and downs in life let's make a list of 10 to 12 goals that you've been managed to achieve in your life till date now that you've written 10 to 12 goals that you possibly managed to achieve in your lifetime till date adjacent to every goal of yours write down one reason that enabled you to achieve this goal Reasons could be many, be it the urgency or probably you had an accountability partner who kept you on your toes or probably you planned it so well and executed extremely, maybe like a pro or you had a very interesting incentive that backed up or maybe you had a tracker that helped you or the mere discipline and the perseverance that you showed that helped you achieve your goal, be it whatever the reason, just write them down. What is it specifically for you that helps you take action? What is it that personally that you have done that helped you achieve your goal, that helped your needle move, that took you from point A to point B? The next step is to make an action plan. And all you have to do is just repeat the actions you have taken that help you achieve your earlier goals. It's as simple as that. Now that you know what keeps your needle moving, all you have to do is just repeat it. So this was my goal setting video as in how to set goals and actually achieve them. I am so happy and thrilled myself to implement it because I really think this works given the kind of dedication and the kind of focus and the fire, the burning fire in you to achieve your goal. If all that is in you, then this is totally for you. Trust me, nothing can stop you from achieving all your goals for 2021. Let's leave no stone unturned. Let's give it our best shot. Let me in the comment section, what is that one major big goal of yours that you want to achieve in 2021 and make the year count? I would love to hear from you. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.